Welcome to Real Money Talks, how to make money, manage money, and invest money. Your Real Money Talks host, Laurel Langmire, gets straight to the point about what it actually takes to make money and build lasting wealth in today's changing economic climate. If you're ready to get the financial results you've always dreamed of, keep listening. Real Money Talks is the right place for you. And now here's your host, Laurel Langmire. Hi, this is Laurel. We're back at Laurel's Real Money Talks. Still in Phoenix, still bringing you podcasts from uh, the heat down here. And uh, this is a group who just did Extraordinary. Debbie came in. I actually met her, what, a few months ago, right? Yes, yes. And noticed she's uh, going to work with us at our big table. And uh, when we met, tell them a funny story. I want to, like, what you've done since we met is really remarkable. Well, I met Laura. I had, it was such fun to meet her. And I explained that I am a registered nurse and I speak on the science of laughter and psychology of humor. So I said to her, how do I translate this into money? And, you know, I know from speaking I would get paid, but, you know, what do I need to do to really get out there in front of people and share this idea about joy and how it really helps relationships and so on, and so we can get into that. But the point was, when I said this to Laurel, she said, well, do you have a sense of urgency? Why, why would people want to hear about the science of laughter, the psychology of humor. What, why is that important? And you know, and it, and the reason it is important to me is this is the first time in the history of mankind that we know of <laughs> where people are dying from non-communicable diseases. This is stress. And so I'm thinking about this, and she looks at me and she said, you know, creating that sense of urgency. You know, people, people you may need to impart to them that they may need, they, they would die if they don't use your product or or your information. And I thought that's true. With all this stress that is going on, if people are not lightening up, you know, looking for those moments of joy and happiness in their relationships, they are going to die. <laughs> so. I actually had a presentation about oh, about a month after I met Laurel, <clears throat> and I was presenting to an international conference with nursing, and I explained in the beginning of my presentation, listen up, because there are facts you need to know about laughter and humor, because if you do not, we're talking about life and death here. <laughs> I love it. And you're going to get money and gigs out of that. Yes, I am. Yes. So talk a little bit, of, again, uh, this is educational for those listening, about how, how did you pick that? Just, I mean, obviously you're a nurse, you're around death and dying and some of that. Um, but what had you pick this as a business? Well, the reason is because <clears throat> I noticed, first of all, in my nursing career, this was the quickest way, the easiest way to connect with patients. It made such a huge impact in how they felt about their care, whether they were interested in seeking further treatment. It just prepares people to feel better and accept help. And so early on in my nursing, or not early on, <laughs> midway in my nursing career, I learned about an organization, the World Laughter Tour, oh, and cool. I took training and became a master trainer in the World Laughter Tour. So teaching people laughter exercises, as well as how to be mindful and aware and how to bring not only those exercises, but you know, laughter and joy and those kinds of things in their daily life. Interesting. So are you incorporated? Yes, that? I am. See, look, at, I got these smart students here because companies make money, individuals get taxed, critical that you all know. So um, the other thing you do or in doing, wanting to do more of is teach organizations about laughter. So how would an organization, so they're a business owner out there, um, how would laughter in the organization serve them? Well, what we find is, <clears throat> and it's great because now it's in so much, in, so many, um, you know, um, journals and it's all over the place now where it really shows and demonstrates that people play together much better at work um, you have better morale um, not only with the staff but then when you start thinking about how patients we all know that if we have someone a patient we're caring for someone and they're about to um, you know receive a procedure or something really horrific in their life so if they're in a better frame of mind to receive this information, we know that the outcomes will be so much better. As well as, as a healthcare provider, I want to interact with my patients and the other staff at that level. 
the work gets done, it's a healing, and um, you know, you just enjoy life. Then. So you're speaking a lot of, like towards the hospitals or medical providers. Is yes. it for any organization though? Can any organization have it? Yes, any organization. In fact, um, in, a, in a month, well in May, um, I'll be doing a training with a mental health um, organization here in Phoenix and they want their providers they're sending several of their providers to this awesome. so they can go out into the community and interact with not only their clients but again their staff working with each other so I'm looking forward to working with you and having you know one of our first laughter millionaires so, arise right. we got to work on our prices a little. <laughs> okay. so while she's still in beginning prices you should check her out so go to ashlaurel.com and uh, put in your name phone number and email and let us know if you would like a consultation have a, a chat with Debbie, hire her to come out to your organization, and just realize there are so many ways all of you can make money. You can do it every day, whenever you choose. So we just left a three day. How much money did you make in three days? Forty dollars. Forty, Dad. <laughs> You're such a chicken salesman. We're gonna work on sale. It's a nursing. She should be. It is that nursing thing. It's like you've been making free to women. But too. nurses that are out there, you need to hear this. So <laughs> that we're moving ahead. Yeah. So next time I'll be with a couple more zeros. Exactly. So uh, you're listening to the Laurel's Roll Money Talks. It's been great to be with you. Thank you for being on again. Go to asklaurel.com. Uh, give us your name, your phone number, your email, and let us know how we can serve you if you would like a chat with Debbie. Have a great day. Be back soon. Thank you for joining Laurel for this segment of Real Money Talks, how to make money, manage money, and invest money. To continue this new conversation and to find free resources to support your wealth creation, visit asklaurel.com forward slash podcast gifts. That's A-S-K-L-O-R-A-L dot com forward slash podcast gifts. Thanks for listening and join us again soon. New episodes are released every week.